Nem ez mutatta, ez a másik a miért ezzel nem. Azt nem is van miért hozták ki. Ez a retróda. Nagyjából meg is a hajlagos vezető képesség 1131, 12,8 Sorry, I don't know why I mix this Polish. <laughs> no, Tomislav uh, could very easily be Polish name. Million dollar, dollar question. Uh, is all of this toxic? Is it not toxic? If yes, why? Yeah, this is not toxic in an ordinary way. It is very alkaline, which means that it's caustic and irritant to the skin and to the eyes. So if we touch it, it damages our health. That's why all the fishes died out from the Marsa River. And that's the reason why so many people injured with, uh, with irritation of the skin. If you had to explain in two sentences what actually it is, I, I, everybody's been talking about sludge and uh, aluminum and I haven't read anywhere a simple explanation for normal men. What is it? How, does it, how is it made? This is called red mud and this is made, uh, this, this is called red mud and this is generated uh, in the procession of uh, bauxite the ore of the aluminium, and when they create aluminium oxide, they treat uh, bauxite with uh, uh, sodium hydroxide, which is uh, alkaline, 
and uh, the result is the aluminium oxide and this remaining is the red mud. And every ton of aluminium oxide results two tons of this red mud in Hungary. The reason is that in the Hungary the, the kind of bauxite we have is not so easy to, to process aluminum oxide. So that's why we have so much uh, uh, red mud everywhere. And uh, in the red mud there is uh, 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 iron oxide, that's why it is red, aluminum oxide, some uh, silicium, so like, like brown or to a normal soil, but quite low compared to a toxic level. Perfect. Thanks very, very much. Thanks. Aha. Wait a second, one second, just uh, somebody from uh, Hello. Yes, I will be there. Okay, okay, thanks very much, I will be there. Uh -huh. One, two, three, like this. So my first question is, seems to be a million dollar question in Hungary these days. Is this here toxic or is it not toxic? Well, it's not toxic like if you touch it, it doesn't have a uh, toxicity. Um, if you are uh, for a long time, you are uh, in uh, contact with this material, it can be toxic. And uh, what is really the problem if it dries out? Now the weather is quite wet and this is, well, um, the better uh, situation because if, if it dries out, then the dust comes up and, and uh, uh, if you inhale it uh, into the lung, it can really cause uh, health problems because it, it uh, consists of all, um, it, there are uh, heavy metals uh, in, in this west sludge and also there is some radioactivity. It's not so uh, strong to be uh, treated here. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that if the weather turns to dry, it will be really a problem. The, the dust which um, can travel to other villages uh, 20 kilometers away, or, or the Rizajka, which is quite close, and it's a city of uh, about uh, 30,000 inhabitants, all of them will be exposed to, uh, to this uh, rest large dust, and this, is, this can be really a problem. So that's why we think that uh, the sludge uh, should be uh, gathered in, in a couple of days from the village and from the fields as well. And uh, there is a must for a total change of the soil, uh, the uh, higher uh, level um, of, of the soil. Uh, they must be changed because it's, it's really polluted by, by the rest sludge. Is there a capacity to do it? That's a question. Um, there is a lot of people working here, but I think that uh, for the total change of the soil, um, there is a need for an international help because um, I am convinced that, that the Hungarian uh, security bodies and, and uh, all these people are not able to, to make this in, in, in let's say, uh, in, in a week. Yeah, we, are, we are talking about something like 50 square kilometers. So it's not like uh, cleaning uh, your garden or, or things like that. It's really a huge area which is, is polluted. Do you know if the government called for any international help? As far as I know, they informed the European Union and the European Commission. I didn't know if any further uh, um, questions went to international bodies to uh, for seeking for help. As a parliamentarian, as somebody who controls the government, are you happy with uh, the level of protection of both the inhabitants here, you were talking about people of ICA, but people who, are, who have been let back in here, the, the people who are actually working, the policemen, the fire brigade. Um, yesterday one saw a lot of people in gas masks, it all looked like it was in the Third World War. Now everybody seems to be much more relaxed about it. Is that uh, irresponsible? Um, the population, the inhabitants, uh, moved away. Uh, so there are just few inhabitants right now in the village who came back to save some of uh, the things from the from the houses. Um, yes, I, I think that perhaps there should be a stricter 
and security regulations as if, as I, I uh, explained, if uh, the weather comes drier, it will be really a problem and, and um, it's, um, I think it's a problem uh, is free access to the area. Um, of course, um, the police and, and uh, members of the army are here for the responsibility, but, but um, for a longer period we, we will need a stricter uh, access to, to this area. Perfect. Thanks very much. Now one thing that I should know covering uh, your country, yeah. your name I don't know. Uh, yes. Benedek Yadu. Mm -hmm. And you're the, the, the chair chairman of, of the um, Ecolo, uh, and environment. The chair of the Sustainable Development Committee of the Hungarian Parliament. And the, the plant is called the Greens? Or? Yes. Like the German Greens? Yes. yes, yes Perfect. Exactly. Csak itt mellettem, gyere el. Oké, okay, hát. Visuals, you, you, you're not doing any measurements or... No, we just... Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, bye.